Another thing, Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest hip-hop artist around. Up lately. Why, why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, 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 No, girl. Beyonce and JC have been accused of occultic practices on multiple occasions, although no evidence has ever been presented to support those assertions. Not until recently, when Beyonce's claimed former bodyguard decided to spill the beans on everything that goes on in the Carter household. The former bodyguard, known as Uncle Ron, posted many videos on TikTok in which he discussed several questionable things that Beyonce and Jay-Z have done. He specifically stated how the celebrity couple has trodden on and even killed those they deem competitors. Who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats. But you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are. How you stepped on many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. The former bodyguard also claimed that Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage is a ruse designed to enable them to rise to the top. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. In the same video, Beyonce's former security accused Jay-Z of keeping her under the influence of drugs in order to control her. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Now, Ron's charges have not been substantiated, but is there a chance that they are true? Let's look into it. Beyonce was accused of damaging Carrie Hilson's career after the Bay Hive claimed Carrie had insulted Queen Bee in her popular song, Turn It Me On. Although the lyrics did not specifically reference Beyonce, many listeners assumed that some words from Turning Me On were a scathing attack on Beyonce. Your vision cloudy if you think that you da best, you can dance, she can sing, but need to move it to the left. She belted. Many thought Carrie Hilson was mocking Beyonce with words about sliding it to the left because it appeared to be a reference to Beyonce's 2006 song Irreplaceable. Terry and Beyonce's feud erupted in 2011 after Carrie refused to handle the latest issue of Juicy magazine after recognizing Beyonce and Jay-Z on the cover. As a result, Carrie experienced an unthinkable reaction from Queen Bee's supporters in the years that followed. As the online hatred intensified and became overwhelming, Carrie resorted to Twitter in 2013 and stated, You have no idea what your hateful words could do to someone's spirit. Years of verbal abuse from strangers all day long. Enough is enough. Carrie tried to move on with her career in the years that followed, but fans wouldn't let her forget the beef. In reality, since the outrage from Beyonce's fans drove Carrie to pull away from the spotlight, the singer has not recorded a single album in the last decade. If you think Beyonce and Jay-Z have only damaged one star, think again. Beyonce and Jay-Z have also been accused of not just conspiring against, but also murdering Aaliyah, a great R&B singer. The Rockefellers allegedly murdered Aaliyah in order to establish Beyonce as Jay-Z's queen. By the way, wasn't this all around the time when Aaliyah died? Yeah. And Beyonce's solo career was struggling? Damn on your horn now, that fucking bullshit-ass record. Mm. From the Austin Powers shit was some of the worst shit ever. They were having a hard time taking her solo. And then Aaliyah died. And then they brought Rich Harrison in. And you know, kind of think it's crazy right now. She liked posing with him in pictures for, for page six. Aaliyah didn't. She fell in love with Dane. And Aaliyah's gone and, you know. You have to start asking yourself, questions after being in this business for this long if you're a halfway intelligent person when do you start questioning how Aaliyah's age and experience effectively paved the way for Beyonce's popularity because before she died in a plane crash she was modeling singing dancing and acting she was slated to reprise Jada Pinkett Smith's role in The Matrix and also star as sister in the remake of the classic movie Sparkle 
Beyonce clearly took over what was Aaliyah's fantasy life. In fact, only weeks before her death, Aaliyah discussed all of her unfulfilled goals in a Paris interview. One day I will travel to Egypt. I will be there where Cleopatra and the pharaohs lived. Unfortunately, I can't meet them anymore. If I had a time machine, I would visit the ancient Egypt. Who knows, perhaps Cleopatra and me would become very good friends. At least I would have a live experience of that ancient culture which I only know from books. My books about Egypt are sacred. I used to read every story about Egyptian kings and queens. Sometimes I watch just the pictures. I dream to stand in front of these important buildings. Or I make a movie in Egypt. My favorite character to impersonate is Cleopatra. If there will be a remake of that movie, I will apply for this character immediately. Did Beyonce's character in Dreamgirls not play Cleopatra? She is. And Deva, Aaliyah stated in the same interview that she wished to design clothing and accessories. Next, I want to like come true another dream. No, two dreams. I will design clothes and accessories together with a friend, she said. So, does Beyonce not design clothing and accessories? She is. And Deva, the two vocalists had very similar backgrounds, coming from an R&B family with a burgeoning acting career on the side. For many, this demonstrated the two singers were on the same road, and evidently, only one of them would be permitted to stay on it. Hence, fans devised a hypothesis suggesting that the Illuminati chose Beyonce to carry on the tradition because Aaliyah was attempting to escape it. Aaliyah was killed in a plane crash nearly immediately after taking off in the twin-engine Cessna 402B she was flying. The tragic story of Aaliyah demonstrates how much money and celebrity Beyonce and Jay-Z crave. Concerning marriage, an insider said, Business is always part of the equation. They know they're the king and queen of hip-hop, and really, all of music. Neither wants to lose that. The couple allegedly began as a romantic relationship, but just on Jay-Z's end. Beyonce wasn't always a fan of Jay-Z, according to her uncle. He said he was after her and she wasn't. She told me she wasn't too fond of him. I guess she wasn't attracted to him. Another insider also verified Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage, saying, Jay's a kingmaker, she recognized that. This was a come up for her, no question. She had to learn the ropes as presented by Jay, but really, this was mostly about business. The source also alluded to the fact that Jay-Z controls Beyonce. There's no bigger controller than Jay. She's great, but she'd be a little lower on the totem pole if it weren't for hooking up with him. In the same vein, Jay-Z has been accused of intoxicating Beyonce in order to control her. Although there is no proof to support this assertion, Beyonce may have demonstrated that she is inebriated by the rigorous regulations she has imposed for her next Renaissance tour. The 41-year-old R&B artist stressed that drugs and alcohol are not permitted on her tour. I'm not sure about you, but this policy makes it sound like she's truly fighting to stay sober and doesn't want any temptation on her tour. Beyonce recently performed her first concert since 2018. The performer attracted widespread criticism following the performance, which took place in Dubai, for which she was paid a stunning $24 million. Her decision to perform in Dubai, where homosexuality is outlawed and technically punishable by death, has been heavily condemned. Some LGBT plus rights advocates confronted her. Peter Tatchell was very harsh in his criticism, claiming that Beyonce's performance in a dictatorship like Dubai was a terrible mistake. He went on to say that she had abandoned her own progressive beliefs in favor of a fat compensation check. Like many of her LGBT fans, I feel betrayed and angry, he said, adding that her liberal reputation has taken a hard knock. The claims leveled against Beyonce and Jay-Z are certainly outrageous, but many fans believe they contain some truth. I love Bay and her music, but in all honesty, we really don't know that much about her because she has done an amazing job of curating the perfect image of herself Virgo things. But I do know one thing, people with the amount of power and influence, as she has, do not get there without leaving a few bodies in their path. I can only imagine the deals she's had to make. One person wrote, With the amount of power, Jay and Bay have they had to step on a lot of people to achieve that. So, I believe everything that man is saying. Another person added, while a third person simply wrote, We know Beyonce's art, we don't know Beyonce. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.